Welcome to another somewhat different episode of The Breakdown. Back in July, we did a segment on how we stumbled across the fact that the taxpayer-funded war room, also known as the Canadian Energy Centre, is using taxpayer money to advertise PACs that are known to try and influence the outcome of elections through, at the very least, the Canadian Energy Centre Facebook page. The facts of that aren't up for a dispute because, quite simply, they're facts. And here's a few other facts. Leading into the last provincial election, Jason Kenney and the UCP made a big deal about the fact that the NDP was using government resources to campaign leading into the next election. They even went so far as to say that they would end the practice of elected officials using taxpayer money to campaign. In fact, Jason Kenney even promised that he would introduce an act called the End Partisan Government Advertising Act. Now we looked, and we haven't been able to find any record of that act being introduced in the legislature and Hansard, the official record of the legislature. So it appears very much that that's another promise made that wasn't kept. Regardless, Jason Kenney made it very clear that he believes the practice of using taxpayer money to pay for partisan advertising is wrong. Remember that. It gets really important later. Additionally, during the last legislative session, Jason Kenney and the UCP went on at length about how they believe that unions using union member dues for any sort of political campaign without those members' explicit permission is unacceptable. So we know that Jason Kenney and the UCP believe that using a group's money to politically campaign and advertise without their explicit permission is wrong. That also gets important later. According to Merriam-Webster, ethics is defined as the discipline dealing with what is good and bad and with moral duty and obligation. Furthermore, in the preamble of the Conflict of Interest Act, it states that members of the Legislative Assembly are expected to perform their duties of office and arrange their private affairs in a manner that promotes public confidence and trust in the integrity of each member and... Ministers and their staff must avoid conflict that violates the public trust or creates an appearance of impropriety. With all that in mind, one would think that an office with the words ethics commissioner in their title would be responsible for the enforcement of ethical and moral behavior. You might also think that an office with the words ethics commissioner in their title would be concerned with actual ethics. As it turns out, in Alberta, you would largely be wrong. How do we know this? Because in response to our letter expressing concerns that the three UCP ministers who make up the board of the directors for the Canadian Energy Centre were potentially behaving unethically by advertising for conservative PACs with taxpayer money, we were told a few things. First of all, the Ethics Commissioner does not believe that there is cause for an investigation. Secondly, the Ethics Commissioner does not see the use of taxpayer money to promote PACs as anything other than a purely political matter. Finally, the Ethics Commissioner advised us that they do not have the ability or power to address or take action on anything that isn't explicitly stated in the Conflict of Interest Act. Because the War Room was created as an entity that has never been seen before, it's not technically breaking any existing rules inside of the Conflict of Interest Act. But if the rules aren't being broken, it forces the question, are the rules themselves broken? Again, here are the facts. Jason Kenney and the UCP have made it clear before and after they were elected that they believe that using taxpayer money for political advertising is morally and ethically wrong. Jason Kenney and the UCP have also made it clear via their position on unions that even if a leader is elected with a majority, that doesn't give them a mandate to spend constituents' money on political campaigns without their explicit permission. The only reason we were able to identify that the War Room was advertising for PACs is because of a transparency feature with Facebook. The War Room is designed to have no transparency to the public, or really anyone else for that matter. Alberta's Ethics Commissioner is not tasked with enforcing ethical behavior, nor do they have the power to do so. The Ethics Commissioner can only enforce the Conflict of Interest Act. A much more accurate for the title of that role and its powers would perhaps be the Enforcement of the Conflict of Interest Act Commissioner because the relationship to that office to ensuring actual ethical behavior appears to be casual at best. Alberta does not have an office that is responsible for ensuring elected officials behave ethically, only that they don't breach an act. 
The War Room and its directors, Doug Schweitzer, Sonia Savage, and Jason Nixon, are not technically in breach of any rules, despite the fact that their own behavior is in direct violation of their own stated beliefs around political advertising. And all of this is happening under Jason Kenney's watch and by his design. There is no reasonable question that there is a miscarriage of morality and ethics here. The hypocrisy in the actions of Jason Kenney, the War Room, and all of the UCP MLAs who stomach the fact that their government is literally saying one thing and doing the complete opposite is undeniable. These are facts. These are not interpretations, and they are not up for debate. The closing paragraph of the Ethics Commissioner's letter said this, if a government or an individual minister makes a decision that furthers its, his, or her political interest, it is the electorate that passes judgment on those decisions, which makes it pretty clear. According to the Ethics Commissioner, the only people who have the ability to hold this government to a higher standard are Albertans. Now, there are many Albertans who will say that this isn't what they voted for and that they didn't know that this is what the UCP would do that they believed the promises that Jason Kenney made about ending partisan government spending, not that he would find technical loopholes to do the exact same thing he condemned. But the ethics commissioner has made it clear that's not enough. Albertans have two choices here. Albertans can condemn these actions by Jason Kenney and his government openly and loudly every day until Jason Kenney and his government decide to change their approach and actually behave in the ethical way that Albertans deserve. Or... Albertans can stay silent. But make no mistake, every Albertan that knows these facts and chooses to stay silent, that chooses not to demand better, they are, by the Ethics Commissioner's own words, complicit in these actions. The hypocrisy, the deception, and the manipulation are reflections of those that choose to be silent as much as they are reflections of Jason Kenney and his UCP. Here at The Breakdown, we don't believe that's who Albertans are. We believe that Albertans are ethical and moral. We believe that Albertans are above this sort of manipulation for political gain. And we hope you prove us right. Now, it's worth noting that we also submitted all of our information to the Privacy Commissioner and the Auditor General. And while we haven't heard anything back from either of those offices yet, there's still hope that one of those offices will take a look at what's going on and maybe do an investigation. We haven't given up hope, and we hope that you won't either. And that's the episode. As always, if you appreciate the kind of content that we're trying to produce here at The Breakdown, please consider signing up as a monthly supporter at our Patreon site at www.patreon.com slash thebreakdownab. And if you're listening to the audio version of our podcast, please consider leaving us a review and a rating. And don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at at thebreakdownab. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>